The brain is our body's most mysterious organ. Scientists continue to study the brain on a daily basis, yet some mysteries persist. Our brain functions on repetition. When you keep repeating a certain behavior or thing, your brain tries to push you in that particular direction. If you want your body to behave in a certain way, then you will have to develop certain habits related to your goal. Where good habits can improve your overall health and life quality, so can bad habits damage your physical and mental health. So, in this video, we'll learn what habits are damaging your brain and how you may boost your brain power by quitting them. So let's get started. Overeating. Snacking multiple times a day interferes with your brain's ability to work effectively, because our brain's functionality is at its peak when our stomach is empty. When we keep eating all day long, our body utilizes all its resources to digest the food. Additionally, the toxins in our bodies become trapped there. Therefore, it is recommended to wait at least 6 to 8 hours between meals. That is, if you eat breakfast at 8 a.m., you should eat lunch at 2 p.m. This way, you will be able to use your brain and body at their maximum capacity. Skipping exercise the risk of depression drops by approximately 18% if you exercise even three times per week. Exercise and depression are directly correlated. A neuropsychiatric investigation also reveals that depression is a brain killer. So keep exercising and avoid sitting for long periods of time. There are many exercises that you can perform without equipment. Like push-ups, squats, jumping jacks, jogging, and many more. Exercise is best done in the morning because it gives you more energy throughout the day and improves your mood. Hit the like button if you agree. Sleeping late at night. Every night before going to bed, nearly everyone engages in one of two popular practices, using their cell phones or daydreaming about the past or the future. Sleeping late causes our bodies to lose their natural rhythm. While we sleep, the body heals both physically and mentally. Therefore, if you sleep in late, these natural activities are hampered. Which causes harm to your body and brain. So, try to go to bed as early as 10 p.m. and sleep for at least 8 hours. What time do you usually sleep at night? Let me know in the comments section below. Excessive sugar consumption. Our body's ability to absorb nutrients and proteins is impacted when we consume excessive amounts of sugar. You might even become malnourished, which slows down the growth of your brain. It occurs because our blood lacks essential nutrients, which prevents those nutrients from reaching our brain and impairs brain development. Eating sweets damages your brain's thinking and learning ability. Instead, you can consume dark chocolate, which is beneficial for your brain since it boosts blood flow and includes magnesium, which is known to relieve stress. Excessive salt consumption. According to studies, salt consumption is the main cause of high blood pressure. Salt can raise blood pressure to a point where having a stroke is almost certain. Excessive salt consumption might also cause cognitive impairment. The excessive salt content can alter the gut's immunological system which results in decreased blood supply to the brain. This, in turn, contributes to cognitive impairment. Listening to loud music. Music is truly beneficial to our health since it boosts our mood and reduces anxiety. However, the issues start when we listen to loud music. It can damage our listening ability. In the long run, this can lead to cognitive disorders such as memory loss and brain tissue damage. It's because your brain is what makes you aware of what is going on around you. When you put too much strain on your brain, it will surely suffer damage. Skipping breakfast Many people skip breakfast in order to save time or to lose weight. Skipping breakfast can be damaging to your brain. Every morning after a good night's sleep, your body requires nutrients. Skipping breakfast prevents you from absorbing those nutrients and results in low glucose levels. 
Those who eat breakfast properly do better at work and in school. Inadequate water intake. Water makes up about 80% of our brains. The ability of our brains to solve problems can be impacted by not drinking enough water. According to research, your brain can begin displaying signs of cognitive decline in just two hours if you exercise in a state of dehydration. Our brain needs enough water to function at its best levels. So it's essential that you keep hydrated all the time. Drinking plenty of water helps your brain and body perform better. Multitasking. It is not in the nature of our brains to multitask. We can focus on only one thing at a time. And for healthy brain growth, it is essential to learn how to concentrate on just one activity at a time. So, whether it comes to productivity or your brain health, always try to give attention to only one thing at a time. Being alone for a long time. Man is a social animal. It doesn't matter how many Facebook or Instagram friends you have. But the most important thing is how well you get along with those friends. People who have friends are typically happier and more successful. If you're feeling lonely, talk to your family or friends or start doing something fun that your friends can participate in, like playing games. Underutilization of brain. The human brain is similar to a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it gets. But if we don't use it as often, it begins to decline. If you rely on the ideas and solutions of others instead of thinking about how to solve your own problems, you will never be able to use your brain to its maximum potential, and your brain will lose its efficiency because of underutilization. So concentrate on developing your critical thinking skills and attempt to find solutions on your own. Too much stress. Excessive stress, whether from your job, health, education, relationships, or anything else, is incredibly damaging to your brain. Since stress causes you to go into fight or flight mode. During this mode, our alertness and blood pressure rise because of the adrenaline and cortisol present in our bodies. The job of fight or flight mode is to take us away from stressful situations. Stress increases the amount of toxins in our bodies, which affects our organs and causes a gradual decline in brain function over time. Therefore, aim to keep your stress levels as low as possible. If you want to know how to stop overthinking and how to manage stress then watch the video on the left. So, now is the time to nurture your brain and give it the attention it deserves. We must quit these habits if we want our brains to function at their best. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos on self-improvement and personal finance.